hi guys welcome to my bedroom yeah i decided to do it here because there's no other place that i found could be useful so it's been a while since i last did makeup on this channel so i thought i'm getting ready to go somewhere so i thought i could just film myself doing the makeup and give you guys the make it like a two-in-one makeup and outfit of the day so that's what we are doing today and we're getting late let's just start this video so so eyebrows are done i'm going to prime my eyelid with now we use this it's wet it's a wet sponge now i'm going to set i'm going to use this it's the maybelline fit me thing powder just set my eyelid oh <clears throat> i'm going to be using this uh I think it's the only palette I have. So let me see what I'm going to do. Something very light. I think I'll go with this uh, color right here. On my crease. I'm getting late. I've made an appointment like with someone. I don't know why I'm always late, even when I try to be on time. It's a very bad habit, but I don't know when it will ever stop. I just find myself rushing at the last minute, most of the times. I'm adding this now. Just trying to darken it a little bit. I don't want anything dramatic you guys can see me okay, I'm, good to go. I'm going to be using the the same concealer that I used to do a little cut crease So now I'm going to add one of the shimmery shadows. I think I'm going to add this right here. It's called Simmer. No, it's called Flicker. <laughs> Flicker. I'm just tapping it on the concealer. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing on this one. seems perfect to me so I'm going to add a little uh, something a little bit darker to get rid of this line right here and I will go with uh, I'll go in with this first one of the colors I used Still very visible. I will go in with the uh, two ashes. I will use this, the, the very darkest one.
Okay, I think I'm good for now. Next step, I'm going to be using a Fenty foundation. I used it off camera and uh, it was really nice. It's a little bit, it appears to be light. As you can see, it's, it's in the shade uh, 385. Yes, 385. So it's what I'm going to be using. It appears to be light, but after some time it oxidizes and you can see my chest. By the way, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> if you can see my chest, my chest is a little bit lighter than my face. So when I use this foundation, it like kinda it matches my whole chest area, which makes it which is okay. Purchase my chest. So Let's get right into this foundation. I'm going to use it directly. And by the way, I already primed my skin in case you're wondering. I already primed it. So I'm going to use a brush. can see this is I'll add another layer to cover up my dark spots I'm just stopping because I don't want to Just tippling it in there because I don't want to. This being a brush, it will leave a, it will leave lines. So that's why I'm just stippling, stippling, stippling. I'm sorry about this mirror if it's getting in the way. It's because. I'm still not used to filming myself when I'm doing makeup. I'm used to putting the mirror just close to myself like that. But everything takes practice. I don't like putting foundation directly on my nose because uh, it tends to... Because it's oily. Like I don't think it's good to put foundation directly on your nose because because that's where, like, I think everyone has most pores are usually visible here. So if you put the, if you put foundation directly on your nose, it more in, in most cases it appears to be cakey, and no one wants cakey foundation. So yeah, I love this foundation. It was a bit scary if you can see it from here. You can see like it's very light but you can see it and it's actually my perfect shade i love it okay so um, i'm okay with this now it's time to conceal now i'm going to use the the real infallible concealer a wet sponge in there but just look at how beautiful how seamless this this concealer is it's so nice and it's full coverage like it covers all like it doesn't matter if you have uh, you have dark circles you have those deep dark circles this concealer is the bomb it's for you I, 
I forget what I'm filming. I cover the thing. So now it's time to. I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter. Pro Filter Setting Instant Retouch Setting Powder. I can't talk. Instant Retouch Setting Powder. It's in the shade Honey. I love this because of the yellow tone, yellow tint, yellow tint. As you can see, it's a very nice yellow inside. It's very nice for under eyes. So it's what I'm going to be using before I get in there. Let me just make sure I don't have any creases. It's a nice yellow. Trying to smash the nose. That's it for now. Now I'm going to get into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour Beverly Hills palette, the creamy contour palette. And um, I'm going to do a, just a little bit of contouring. I'm, I'll use this shade. What's it called? Chocolate. I'll use the shade chocolate. So I'm going to use this, the, uh, the Maybelline Fit Me in the, th in the shade 330 Toffee. That's my overall. I'm going to go and uh, complete my eyes. I'll I'll use this uh, shade right here, the one I used on my crease, and I go under my eyelid. And I'm gonna go in with this uh, shade one I used on my lid to go just here to open it up. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this shade, the lightest one. It's called White Heat just to go under my like use it to my inner 
This opens up the eye. Yeah. Almost done, almost done. I'm going to use this uh, setting spray. It's called the Palladio Forever and Ever Makeup Setting. It's a nice one. running late. I'm going to use the Flama highlighter. Just a little bit. Now go under my I'll put a little bit on my blow bone. Then I'll go in with blush. I will use this. I think blush is something that does not matter. It doesn't matter what which one you are using. Blush is forever blush. I think I'm done. So guys, let me go do my hair, straighten it up a little bit and come back with a finished makeup look. I'm back. I got it up yesterday. As you can see, I already have lashes. Use the flammer pencil. This is my go to lip. Like, I wear this lip every single day. I don't know why. I just love it. And I'm using the, this is the Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild lipstick in the shade Raven Raisin. and wild lip gloss in the shade coral something the words are too small <coughs> so guys this is the finished makeup look hope you like it as I do it uh, I love it and this outfit makes me feel like a bride I've always wanted to put on this shirt it's been like I've had it for almost a if not almost but it's a year since I since I bought it and I hadn't got the chance to wear it and I was like why not wear it today so let me show you my full outfit and 
that will be it thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel like comment let me know what you liked about this video what do you like have you ever used any of these products how do you like fenty i love it and i'm loving it so yeah that's it thank you so much guys for watching and let's go on to the outfit this is the finished look this is what i'm wearing i'm loving this top right here See? i've always wanted to wear this top i love it i just paired it with my white pants and i think it's a nice one i want these heels right here if you can see them yes so that's it and then i paired it with this bag so i hope you love this look as much as i do i think it's nice okay. I'm going to I'm going to first take some pictures before I head out. So you might want to check out my Instagram. I'm going to link it up here. And you guys show me some love on my Instagram. So yeah. This is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love these shoes. So that is it. Let me go take some pictures and I'm done. Thank you.